With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss one question on circles. So in this question, we are given the following figure. And from this following figure, we are given that AD is the diameter of the circle with the center O. Now the codes A, B, B, C, C, D are given to us as of equal length. And if we are given the measure of the angle D, E, F as 110 degrees, then in such a case we need to calculate the two angles. The first angle is the angle A, E, F and the second angle is the angle F, A, B. So now for doing this question, we are going to make some constructions. We are going to join the point A and E. So here we have joined the points A and E like this. Now since we know that the diameter of any circle subtends a right angle, that is the angle of 90 degrees on the circumference of the circle. So here we have the AD as the diameter and this AD is subtending this angle at this point E. So this angle would be 90 degrees. So here we have got the angle AED as 90 degrees. So angle AED we have got as 90 degrees because the diameter subtends 90 degrees angle on the circumference. Now from this figure we can see that the complete angle that is the angle FED would be equals to the angle FEA plus the angle AED. So from this diagram we can write that the angle FED that is the complete angle FED this would be the sum of the angles FEA. So here we have the angle FEA plus the angle AED. So here we have the angle AED like this. So the angle FED would be the angle FEA. So angle FEA is as it is plus angle AED and the angle AED is 90 degrees which we have just calculated here. So here we have the 90 degrees and this is equals to the angle FED and the angle FED is given to us as 110 degrees in the question. So here we have 110 degrees. So from this we can find the value of the angle FEA and the value of the angle FEA would be 110 minus 90 that is 20 degrees. So here we have got this angle as 20 degrees. Now in the question they have asked us to find the value of the angle AEF and the angle AEF that is angle FEA is 20 degrees as we have got here. Now we are going to focus on the second part of this question. So in the second part we need to find the value of the angle FAB. So for doing this question we are again going to do some construction. We are going to join the points F and B here. So here we have joined both of these points F and B and it looks something like this. Now for doing this question, we need to find the value of the angle FAB. So from this figure we can say that the angle FAB would be equals to the angle FAD plus the angle DAB. Angle DAB. So we need to find both of these angles. It is the angle FAD and the angle DAB. And if we sum them up, then we get the value of the angle FAB. So let us say that this is the result 1. So now we are going to focus on finding the angle FAD. So here we have the angle FAD. Now if we consider the quadrilateral FADE, then we can see that all the vertices of this quadrilateral, that is the point F, point A, point D and point E. All of these four points passes on the circle. Now since all of these points lie on the circle, so we can say that the quadrilateral FADE is a cyclic quadrilateral. So we have concluded that the quadrilateral F A D E. This quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now we know one property of the cyclic quadrilateral that the opposite angles of the cyclic quadrilateral sums up to 180 degrees. So here if we consider the opposite angle that is this angle, this complete angle that is the angle F A D and the angle F E D that is this angle. If we consider these two angles, then these are the opposite angles of this cyclic quadrilateral and both of these angles sums up to 180 degrees according to the property. So since FADE is a cyclic quadrilateral, we can say that the angle FAD plus the angle here, the FED, this sum should be 180 degrees. So from this, we can find the value of the angle FAD. So the angle FAD would be equals to the 180 minus angle FED and the angle FED would be here we have the 110 degrees. So here we have 110 degrees and if we solve this up 
then we get the value of the angle FAD as 180 minus 110 that would be 70 degrees so here we have got this angle as 70 degrees now we are going to focus on finding the angle DAB that is this angle so for this we are going to do some constructions we are going to join the points O and B and the points O and C so if we do that then the point O and the point B if we join them then it looks something like this and if we join the points O and C then it would look something like this now in the question we are also given that the AB is equals to BC is equals to CD all of these three codes are equal now we are going to use one property of a circle in a circle we know that the equal codes the codes with the equal length that is the equal codes subtend equal angles equal angles at the center so we are going to use this property and by using this property we can say that this angle would be equal to this angle would be equal to this angle so by using this property we can say that the angle AOB the angle AOB should be equal to the angle BOC should be equal to the angle COD and if we assume that all of these three angles are equal to theta so this is theta this is theta and this is theta and we can see that since AOD is a straight line so we can say that the sum of all of these three theta should be equal to 180 degrees so we can say that since AOD is a straight line we have the theta plus theta plus theta that is thrice of theta is equal to 180 degrees and from this we can find the value of theta as the 180 divided by 3 that is 60 degrees so we have got the value of theta is 60 degrees so this angle is 60 this angle is also 60 this angle is also 60 now we are going to find the angle that is this angle so here we know that the AO should be equals to OB why the AO should be equals to OB because both of these are the radius of the circle so we can say that the AO should be equals to OB now since AO is equals to OB so we can conclude that the angle OAB would be equals to the angle OBA why because the angles opposite to the equal sides are equal so since AO is equals to OB we can say that the angle OAB would be equals to the angle OBA and if we say that both of these angles are equals to alpha so now we are going to consider the triangle OAB where this angle is alpha and this angle is also alpha and this angle is 60 degrees as we have calculated here so now we are going to consider this triangle OAB so in triangle OAB in triangle OAB we are going to apply that sum of all the angles of the triangle is 180 degrees so if we do that then we get the angle theta plus angle alpha plus angle alpha that is theta plus twice of alpha this should be equal to 180 degrees and from this we can find the value of alpha so the alpha would be equal to the 180 minus theta all divided by 2 so 180 minus theta and theta we have calculated here as 60 degrees so here we have 180 minus 60 whole divided by 2 like this and if we solve this then we get 120 by 2 that is also equals to 60 degrees so we have finally got the value of alpha is 60 so here we have got this angle as 60 degrees and this angle is also 60 degrees now we needed to find the angle FAB so by using this equation one we know that the angle FAB was the sum of the angles FAD and the angle DAB so the angle FAD we calculated here is 70 degrees and the angle DAB was 60 degrees which we have just calculated so the angle FAB would be the 60 plus 70 so by using the result one we can say that the angle FAB the angle FAB this would be equal to the 60 plus 70 and on solving this this would be equals to the 130 degrees so we have finally got the measure of the angle FAB as the 130 degrees so this is our solution thank you for class 6 to 12 ITG and NEET level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today